Hi, hello everyone. I'm Nawal Yemul. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Data Master. We are in the playlist of the Databricks SQL. So we have seen about the SQL warehouses, SQL editor, queries, and how to create a dashboards. I have also made a separate video on a Jenny space. And now we're going to talk about the query history. Navigate to your SQL tab, and here you will find your query history and whatever the queries you have run through your SQL editor and by using your SQL warehouses you can track each queries in this query history tab and if you are the just a user of this workspace you will find only your queries if you are the admin or if you are a workspace admin you will find the other users detail also so what i'm trying to say is if you click on this users section i am using an account and i'm the owner of the account and i'm the only user but if there are multiple users you can find all the users list here you can start filtering for the specific user and you can see what all queries they have run and you can also filter it based on the calendar here like you can go for the last one hour or last eight hours or you can click on this and you can get a calendar where you can specifically say that okay on this date or this timestamp what were the queries ran you can do that let me just make it for last seven days and you can see all the queries that i ran the last seven days i can figure out from here now you have other filters but before I touch on the other filters, let me show you the queries tab here. So I'll just click on this query tab. And the moment I click on the queries tab, you can see you'll get a pop up window that shows you all the details. So this was your query definition. And if you remember, this was created by a Jenny space. When we created a Jenny space, uh, the query was ran. So wherever you are running it in the SQL, we will be able to figure out it here and if you look carefully this query has generated a statement id so remember every query you run it it will create a separate statement id so maybe if you have running thousands of queries so every query will create a statement id maybe if you want to do a detail analytics or if you want to go for the query profiling we generally need this statement id I'll show you that and you can see the status it is finished and it's cached. So the query was retrieved from the cache. So the time taken will be very less as compared to the queries which are not cached. So let me show you if I just go to the query profiling for this particular statement ID or the query, you will not find any query profiling because the results were cached already. If I close this, and if I click on any other one, for example, uh, you can see here the source. It is showing you that you have run this in your Jenny space. You have run this in your dashboards and you were running this from your SQL query. So if you remember, we have used the SQL query to run it. Let me click on it and still these queries are cached. Let me quickly check. This was also cached all these are cached because we were using a dashboard and all our uh, dashboard queries were cached let me click on this yeah this was not cached you can see this is not cached you will get a query definition you can check the query definition you can check the time stamp when it was started when it was ended and also you get a cool graph so when you click on the query profiling you get a graph it will show you exactly what happened how much time it took how many records were there and finally what is your output so it starts with your graph view it shows you how many seconds it took to scan the data how many records were there it will try to convert your columnar to row because it's a delta file format delta is nothing but an internally a parquet file so parquet is always a columnar it converts to your row and then gives you the results you can also switch it to the tree view so if you click on the tree view you will see that what are the different steps and how many seconds it took not only time you can also check the rows so which step like how many rows were there we were dealing with very small data set which has only seven rows and you can see here 
and how much memory it took for each step you can check it here so all the detailing can be seen in your query profiling if it is not cached so you can check it by just moving to that particular query and you can go in detail so let me come back to the filtering part here so we talked about the uh, date picker or you can say filter from the date or you can go with the compute also in organization you might have many sql warehouses and you want to know like on this sql warehouse what all queries were run you can do it from here then you have a duration filter very important suppose you want to know that which queries took more than one minute to run you can go here and take one minute and try to run this i don't think so in my workspace there are no queries that ran more than one minute but yes this filter is very important let me take one second or maybe five seconds the queries which took more than five seconds to run and you can see it here you can just click on this and you can figure out why this took so long time uh, we are not taking 10 seconds as a long time but just i want to show you a context here uh, we might have used uh, maybe join or maybe a group by because your data is shuffling here you can see here uh, the reason might be um, group by or any aggregations because of that your data is shuffling so you can see the data is shuffled aggregated yes aggregated then you have a columnar to row and all the details here so we have just now seen how you can check the graph view let me cancel this uh, let me cancel this duration now we have a status tab so status will show you like the queries which are in queue it will show you the queries which are running or the queries which are finished cancelled and failed you get all the details and one more cool feature is the statements so you can literally go and filter out the statements which you feel like they have dropped so maybe accidentally if the tables drop you need to know what drop statements were ran not only drop statements you will get to know who ran that you'll get to know the username on which compute it was ran and what date and time it was ran you will get to know each and every detail filtering with the statements even you can know like uh, using a grant privileges like who has granted so when we look at unity catalog you'll get to know what do we mean by grant so grant is a simply giving an access to the objects to the user or a specific group and so on so if you have given a grant privilege to the user or the groups you will get to know like who has ran the grant command when it was ran to whom the permissions were given not only grant you get a revoke also and you can see the uh, people those who have used the command called use statement or a show statements and so on you can see everything even delete also create also if i click on create you can see i have run create table command uh, in these three and you can see what was the source this is important because you might be using a sql warehouse in your notebooks in your sql queries in your dashboards in your uh, jenny space anywhere so it will show you the source from where this query was run cool this is cool feature and now we have a last filter called statement id so as i told you at every step at every query there will be a statement that is recorded a statement id so you can just copy this now suppose you want to do uh, analysis based on this statement id there were so many queries running on so now i want to go deeper into that particular statement id yeah you can do that just copy that statement id and you can just paste it here and cool it will just show you up that statement id and you can go in detail and try to understand why it took long time or maybe what happened to that query you can figure out so this is all about the query history you will really get to know each and every detail in this if you are using a sql warehouse so this is all about the query history in your databricks sql so i hope you enjoyed this video or enjoy this playlist so i started with the very batch from the sql warehouses jumping onto the query history how you can analyze your queries how to check the query profiling how to filter out all the things i hope you enjoyed this playlist if you like this video if you like this playlist i request you to please share it with your friends subscribe to my channel 
and thank you for watching keep learning bye bye see you in the next video